Hey, welcome back to your favorite uh, fundamentals of college math class. We're looking at fundamentals of probability. We're going to talk about theoretical and compute theoretical as well as empirical probability. So let's just talk about, first of all, probability. Uh, uh, if you're to get or, uh, I'm sorry, if you were to compute a theoretical experimental probability, you, you'll be given a number between zero and one. So the probability you know, this is 0%, this is 100%. For example, like we know if we have, if we're flipping a two-sided coin with a heads or tails, you know, the probability of flipping a heads is one and two, in other words, 0 0.5, 0 0.50. All right, so it's right there, 50% chance of flipping a heads, right? Theoretical probability is the mathematical probability. So we computed, this is, this is what we expect to occur. So for example, if we flip a coin twice, we expect to get a heads one out of two times. That's our theoretical probability. But the empirical or experimental probability you know, if I flip a coin twice, uh, maybe I actually got zero heads out of two. So my empirical, what actually occurred, my my experimental or empirical probability ended up being zero percent. But my theoretical probability was one out of two. I expected to get 50% of the time to get a heads, right? And there's a connection between the empirical or actual probability and the theoretical probability, um, what actually happened compared to what we expect to occur. And that is as the number of trials goes up. So like, let's say that we are flipping a heads and we do it a hundred times. Well, we know the theoretical probability is one and two. So we expect to get 50% of the time, we expect to get a head. So if we do it a hundred times, theoretically speaking, we're expecting 50 heads, exactly. But maybe we actually do it, and empirically, the empirical probability comes back, and we got it 55 times. So it wasn't exactly 50% of the time. We got 55 times out of 100, we got a heads. That's our empirical or experimental probability. As we increase the number of trials, we get closer and closer and closer to that actual 50%, 0 0.50. Okay, so this is what the, the casinos understand, right? This is kind of why I've been ruined to, to gambling because I know the more I gamble, the more I'm going to approach the theoretical probability and the house always wins. So the more I gamble, the more I lose, right? Because I'm approaching and they, they employ uh, mathematicians uh, uh, to do their actuary, to do their probabilities and all that. Anyways, an experiment, that's uh, in any occurrence for which the outcome is uncertain, right? We could run the experiment of just flipping a coin. The sample space, in this case, our sample space was we could get either a heads or a tails, either of those, right? The event, that's the probability of the event occurring. In this case, the event was flipping a heads. Right, flipping your heads, and then the sum of all the the theoretical probabilities of all the possible outcomes is a hundred percent. So, for example, with this one, our outcomes are heads and tails. The probability of the heads, and if you were to add up the probability of the tails, those are our only two possible outcomes. So, if I take the two probabilities, I get two out of two, or a hundred percent. Right, the sum of all the possible. The theoretical pro the sum of the theoretical probabilities of all possible outcomes is 100%. All right, so computing the actual theoretical probability is you take the number of outcomes. I like to think this as the number of winners. How many possible winners do I have? And then you just divide it by the number of outcomes. Okay, so for example, if this is our event, what's the probability? We, we've got this die, right? So we've got this six-sided die. And we got, I could roll a one, I could roll a two, I could roll a three, I could roll a four, five, or six. So the sample space 
is one, two, three, four, five, or six, right? Any of those are possible outcomes. The question is, what's the theoretical probability of rolling a three? So my event is rolling a three. What's the probability of rolling a three? So on top, my top number is how many winners are there? There's only one winner. But how many actual outcomes could I have? I could get a one, two, three, four, five, or six. So there's six outcomes. So the probability of rolling a three is 0.16 repeated. So it's about 17%, right? The probability of rolling a three. Now, what about an even number? So we have the same sample space. I could roll one, two, three, four, five, or six, right? I have six total outcomes. What's the probability of rolling an even number? I have, well, there's one even. There's another even number. There's another, So I have three winners out of a possible six outcomes. So I have a one in two or 0.5, probability of this event occurring, of rolling an even number. I'll go back to my lovely blue here. All right, how about cards? And I try to, to attach a little uh, picture here. You're dealt one card. If, if you're like me, you're maybe you're a little bit unfamiliar with a standard 52 card deck. So uh, these are your diamond symbols right here. Here's your diamonds. Here's your clubs in black. Here's your hearts in red here. And then here's your spades in black. So you notice the diamonds and the hearts are in red, the clubs and the spades are in black. Okay, and you have ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you have a jack, a queen, and a king. Okay, so that's all your um, cards on this standard 52 card deck. Okay. Just let me erase, then we'll go ahead and find the probability of being dealt a king what's the probability of being dealt a king so i just say well how many winners do i have there's a king winner the king of diamonds the king of clubs the king of hearts or the king of spades so it looks like there's four cards that are winners out of how many cards are in the deck how many possible outcomes are there 52. so i have a one in 13, both of those go into four. One in 13 probability of rolling a, of, I'm sorry, being dealt a king. So I have a 0 0.07692307. Anyways, so it's about a 0 0.0, I'll go there, 0 0.077 is our probability of being dealt when I'm dealt one card as a probability of being dealt a king. Let's do it for heart probability being dealt a heart so now i got to think to myself how many heart winners are there i don't care if i get which heart i just got to be dealt a heart how many of these hearts are there so i count them up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen there's thirteen winners what's the probability of being dealt a heart thirteen out of how many possible outcomes fifty two there's fifty two cards so this is a 1 in 4, both of those go into 13, or a 0.25 probability. The probability of being dealt a heart, 0.25, 1 in 4. In other words, if I, if I deal somebody four times, I'm expecting to be dealt a heart one time. In all actuality, I don't know if I'm only going to get one out of four, but theoretically speaking, that's what we expect. That's the theoretical probability. All right, now our empirical probability here. Uh, so this is what actually occurs. So again, the number of winners on the top. Uh, how many times did we win, right? Did it actually occur out of how many times did we do it? The number of total occurrences. Let's take this situation. If one person is randomly selected from this population. So we have this population. There's 242 people surveyed. Right here. We have all this. Here's the data. For them, right? Here's the data. One person is randomly selected from the population described above. Find the probability 
if the person's female. Probability if the person is female. So I say, well, how many winning females are there? These are all my females, right? How many are there total? There's 124 of them total out of 242. So if, in other words, if these all these people are in a hat, right? There's 242 people in this whole thing, and there's how many females? You know, there's males, females, males, females, all this throughout, right? If I was to go in and grab a winner, how many of winners are there? There's 124 winners out of 242. That's the probability of grabbing a female, if you will, in this case, is point approximately 0.51. You can round that to about 51%. So that's that's empirical probability all right thanks so much for listening we will see you guys next time